what? So this is apparently the final skin for Arcade Mayhem. It's it's not Mangle, like I think everyone was expecting. It's 8-bit Circus Baby. Now this kind of messes with the lore. If you consider the fact that uh, Special Delivery could be canon, which maybe, but if it is, then this messes it up real bad. It's got green eyes, so clearly this is Baby before Elizabeth possesses her, before she scoops Elizabeth. So, what the frick? Anyways, this is the final week of Arcade Mayhem. My phone's ready to go. I'm kind of excited. I don't know how they're gonna work because this is possibly the weirdest animatronic that we've ever got. And keep in mind that this is not a skin of Baby. This is its own character. So I have no clue how they are going to work, but I'm interested to find out. Here we go. There she is. Oh, it even has the CPU. Right, because it's a its own animatronic, so they actually do have a CPU. Okay. 8-bit Baby. Nice, that is great. 20, <laughs> damn boy. Oh, 900, okay, thank God. Thank God I have enough. I really wanna know what they look like in the, um, in the workshop. Speaking of workshop, I have a few surprises. Uh, out of episode, I managed to get, uh, Frost Bear, no, I had him before, Choco Bonnie, and somehow System Arrow Bonnie, and also Mangle. So I, ha I used to have everyone, well, everyone excluding the skins, but now there's 8-Bit Baby, which for some reason is not grouped in with Baby. Um, that's weird, they're grouped in with the Foxies, that, that is extremely concerning. <sighs> I need you! Anyways, okay, so let's us activate it. 8-Bit Baby Lore. How are they going to work? That is the question. If they don't utilize, like, the 8-Bit Cupcakes and the 8-Bit Characters, that's gonna be a huge missed opportunity. Because it's a new animatronic, which means it'll have its own set of attacks, its own footsteps, its own stuff like that. I am going to have to make a uh, another <laughs> FNAF AR all sounds for 8-Bit Baby. God damn it. Um, but yeah, if, if you guys remember, Frost Bear, he was different from Freddy. He like froze the screen and, well, he's all chilly. So I don't know what they can do with 8-Bit Baby. Can you imagine we get like a, a, a scene when we defeat them of Elizabeth coming out? That would be awesome, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, and while we're here, of course, we're gonna do multiple battles, so 8-Bit Baby, here we go. Look at that, 400 tokens left over. That is cutting it close. Oh, 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 oh. was that them? Was that them? <sighs> yes! Yes! Oh, they look so good already. Oh, they look so good already. I don't, again, I don't know how they're going to utilize the 8-Bit feature. I'm, I'm really interested, and I have not seen anything about this, by the way. Also, Baby's difficult. <laughs> She's up there. She's up there. Um, for my- for me, for my- for me, it goes Mangle, Springtrap, Baby. <sighs> it's gonna be tough, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be very tough. But hopefully- listen guys, we've done three other videos on Arcade Mayhem. All three of them, we have successfully defeated the characters. I'm just getting rid of someone so Baby can show up. We have to continue the streak. I think one streak, um, let's see, if, if we've done four, so we're on streak 12, okay? We're going for 16, I think. This, we have a lot of pressure. And I have a feeling we're not gonna do it. Oh god, they're here. <sighs> mm, okay, here we go! Oh, what a swoo! Oh my god. Where is she? Jesus. They've got the music going too. It actually is making it kind of difficult to hear the footsteps. So I do kind of have to listen closely. Is it different? It sounds slightly different. Oh, Jesus! Wow. Wow. Well, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of speechless, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. Moving out this way. Jesus! That lag, though. Jesus. 
That lag is insane. Hello. Oh my god, this is great. What a way to... Hey, what a way to end the Arcade Mayhem event. Out here. I don't know if that's lag or if the music is supposed to do that. Oh god, stop going over there. Stop! That's so creepy! I'm gonna use the flashlight a little bit. Okay, not anymore. I don't like when they go on the green screen. Oh. Jesus! That is awesome, though. Crap, crap, crap. Where, where, where? Out here. Over here, I think. Ooh, moving. I don't... It's hard to tell if she's... Oh god. Where did you go? It's hard to tell if she's worse than baby. Oh, I, I did not know where that was. This is one of the best fights. Actually, this is great. Oh, Jesus. This is amazing. Stop! That's so creepy! Oh! No? Oh my god, your voice is so broken. Wait! Did something pop up there? Oh, I, I... Something popped up there, I swear. No, I don't want a mod, I want the suit. Wow! <laughs> One of the best. One of the best. God. Steel, uh, not steel wool, sorry. Alumix. God damn, you guys. Oh, Jesus. That was awesome. That was so good. They, okay. I will admit, they didn't do the cupcakes, which is something I feel like they should have done. Maybe like Mangle, where you have to collect the cupcakes, but then again, Mangle's, again, like, one of the hardest characters. But also, so is Baby, so it really wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered. But, oh my God, this was great. We still have three more rounds to do. That's one out of three. I mean four. I can't freaking count. But oh my god, that was great. Oh my god. They... I have no words. That was, again, one of the best fights. They change it so much that it really is one of the best experiences that I've had fighting anyone in this game. Here we go again. That's such a great sound. Oh, it glitches out. That's so weird. Oh my god. Hopefully that's intentional and that's not lag. I'm sure it is intentional, honestly. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, Jesus. It does lag a lot. That might be my phone. Hopefully it is. That wasn't lag, that was perfect. Oh my god. I will say, when they called it Arcade Mayhem, I didn't think they were gonna go out with someone like this. Literally, an 8-bit, 8-bit character. Right here. Jesus. Oh jeez. Literally an 8-bit animatronic. Whoa! 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 Wow, that was, that was actually kind of creepy. <laughs> it's an 8-bit figure and it scared me. Jesus. Hi! She like flashes colors. Over here? Yeah. Stop. Stop. Stop going on the green screen. Oh. Uh. Oh, hello. I saw your mic. Is that the same sound effect that Babe does when she dies in that minigame? I don't think it is, but it seems like it's close. They nailed the voice, too. Hello. It's insane how they... Oh, uh, she flashes out for a moment. That's what it was. It's insane how good an 8-bit figure is in, like, 
literally a 3D game. It's weird. Alright, so here are the other two. It's weird. Just shocking 8-bit baby and then seeing them like move around and then explode into pixels. That's cool. I got tired of waiting. <laughs> They're just so far away and it's gonna take them so long. So I just, just get them here already. Oh, it changes the sound. Oh, no, is it glitching out, please? And not intentionally glitching out. I mean, the camera. I hate it when it does that. Over here. Hello. Fast one? No. Quite literally the opposite. Yeah, she doesn't make a noise when she uh, charges, and I think that's actually really difficult. Because you can miss her easily. Hi! Oh my god! Damn it, my streak, but oh my god! That was, that was great. I'm, I'm really glad I got jump scared now. And we just hop right back into it. Oh my god, that was so good. Illumix, this is, this is amazing. You're over here, I know you are. I'm sad we lost our Arcade Mayhem streak, but you know what? Totally worth it. No, you can't. Not if I hold my breath. Spooky. Oh. Way over here. Where are you moving to? Oh. Yes, move away from the green screen, thank you. You really like this area. You really haven't moved. Hey, really? I can hear you talking and it allows me to identify exactly where you are. It's actually really helpful. There is something bad inside of me. Mm-hmm. You don't say, well, when you stop talking, I don't know where you are, but then you haywire and I know exactly where she is. Oh, Jesus. Over here. Okay, so the first round I was just abusing my batteries, but she's not that bad. The round when I died was just unfortunate. <laughs> She's she is kinda like baby. Jesus, don't do that. Over here somewhere, I think. No. No, don't. Oh. Oh. Hello. If we didn't miss that one, we would have gotten all of them. Wow. Come on, suit. Nope, that's a mod. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. That is 8 bit baby. Quite the addition. Great fight. I, I've been saying it one of the best fights that they have ever done. Probably one of the best characters, too. I can't wait to get their CPU. I would also love to see what they look like in the workshop. Actually, I'm gonna look on the Reddit. I'm sure someone someone has it. Hold on. Okay, someone's got it. That's nice. Oh, they just, like, turn around? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's great. That is great. That is a great workshop animation. I get it, they're limited to the 8-bit character, but for an 8-bit character, that's pretty good. So to end it off, I want to take a quick break, and I, I'm putting this at the end because I still want people to hear about it, but I also didn't really want to take it away from the, the new update, the final character in the Arcade Mayhem. But I'm sure everyone knows by now, Steel Wool Studios, the people who made FNAF ER and the people who are making Security Breach, uh, released a new game today. And everyone <laughs> was so upset and so frustrated at them that they didn't upload a teaser trailer, a teaser, an update to FNAF ER. They didn't do anything with FNAF at all. They just released a new game. Um, and people were mad because not only is it the 
anniversary for FNAF ER, their first FNAF game, and the one that made a lot of money. <laughs> but it's just insane how mad people got. People were disliking the video, um, hopefully, and I, I looked on the uh, Steam Workshop um, of the game to make sure no one left any bad reviews, and thankfully, no one has just yet. <laughs> but I want to say this, and I think everyone knows this, but there were just people out there who, for some reason, just ignore that fact because they just want FNAF content from Steelwool. Steelwool is not a FNAF game studio. Illumix is not a FNAF game studio. Click Team is not a FNAF game studio. They make their own games, except Illumix, seeing as Special Delivery is their first game, but that still doesn't make them a FNAF studio. They make other games that make other content. Before FNAF ER, Steel War and Click Team made other games. So don't get mad at them that they didn't release a teaser trailer or a new game, the Oculus port, the Xbox port, a new update, whatever. I was upset too, but I realize that they do other stuff than FNAF. It's really insane, looking on the comments of their Twitter post. I don't know if they made a Reddit post, I'm assuming they didn't, because technically it's not FNAF, but their YouTube video, people were disliking it, people, you know, were just leaving nasty comments, and a lot of people on the FNAF subreddit have mentioned this and have stated their own opinions, which, keep in mind, are the exact same as mine, and what should be everyone else's, but for some reason, people don't get it, so I'm saying it right now, Yes, they make other games, and no, they did not release anything for FNAF. Unfortunate, yes, but don't yell at them. It's crazy, I tweeted about this, and it's crazy that I had to make that tweet, and it's crazy that I have to sit here and say this, but here we are. Anyways, that's the end of the video. A great way to finish the Arcane Mayhem event. Great. Fantastic. I can't wait to get their CPU. I can't wait to get their suit. It's gonna be it's gonna be very nice. So thanks for watching. See you on the flip side. Goodbye.